Alright folks, as you know, last night I put the uh, Skinomi matte skin screen protector on the front of the Axon 7 here. So we're going to look at that real quick and see how that came out. This has been, you know, darn near 24 hours. And as you can see, nary a bubble, except I have one little one way down here. One. And it'll work its way out, and I have one little one way up here. But overall, the fit was perfect. Uh, so, we're going to clean the back of this now, after tearing off the old screen protector. Yes, goodbye, piece of crap. Screen protector. Goodbye. All gone into the trash can. Now, I have a bunch of these things called nice and cleans, and we're going to use these to, uh, these are basically alcohol wipes, and we're going to really thoroughly clean the back of this phone off. <coughs> we're going to make it all wondrous and neat. So I'm going to get this out of the way, try not to knock anything down, and I shall try to keep this short, but let's face it, folks, it's going to take a long time to do this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What did I get on there? I don't know. All right, so we're going to go through and get all the residue from the previous screen protector off. And any kind of dust or crud off the back of this thing. That's where we're going with this. Uh, all right, that's just the first one. Uh, probably is at least two here. So we'll open another one up. And of course, you can see the shiny reflective surface reflecting the goose mount for the camera here, which we're shooting on the Alcatel through uh, open camera tonight so we can get uh, a proper MP4 and use an external mic. So let's get this puppy open and we're going to clean this very thoroughly once again around the edges everywhere. There can be nothing upon the surface here. And so far, as far as I can tell, this thing is damn clean. Really clean. Probably a little shiny and reflective at this moment. But once we put that matte screen protector on here, it's going to look pretty darn good. All right. So that ends the initial prep. Initial. So now I'm going to go on and do step one from the instructions, which is wash my hands. So I'll be right back. All right, folks, here we go to the first step. After washing your hands, you're going to open up your little fluid container here. And you're going to spray your fingers down with the uh, provided fluid, your fingertips, mostly. Get it on there. Don't worry if you overspray onto the screen because in a second, the screen's gonna be covered with that stuff. This will prevent you from accidentally, ooh, getting fingerprints onto the uh, aforementioned adhesive side of our screen protector. So let's go ahead and we're gonna peel this off all right now. We're just gonna take off the backing when we figure out what the hell we're doing. Now this is always fun, but it happens. And it's a little difficult because, well, to put it mildly, it's quite slippery with this stuff all over your fingers. Okay, finally, I've got it released up. 
Now, you're going to see stuff from my fingers on here, and that's okay. And then we're going to spray what they call a very thin layer of this stuff onto here. And then we're going to turn the phone like so. And I'm going to lay this thing right down onto the surface of the phone. Now at this point, I'm going to need to kind of concentrate a little. So you're going to see me kind of moving this about hither, hither, and yawn until it looks like it's kind of dead centered, which it now is. Pretty easy to line up when you're not having to pull it back and realign it and do all that good stuff. So, next, and like I said, this is a whole lot easier than you thought it would be, probably. We're gonna take our card with our micro fiber cloth and slip it in here. Like so. So now we have basically a squeegee. And then I'm gonna check this one more time. I'm gonna take it off camera where I can really see it. And does it look lined up? And it certainly looks uh, more than adequate to me, although I think it could go a little more north here. So we're gonna move it just, what you might call a hair. And then we're gonna let it sit for a second. You know, kind of settle down and begin bonding. And then our next step, and this is a tricky one, folks. It's, it's sort of tricky. I'm gonna put a little more fluid on my fingers while we do this and uh, might as well use it. I'm going to put the card into play here as soon as I can. <laughs> when I can get it to kind of cooperate just a wee bit. Now you, you don't want to press too hard on anything or slide anything in any particular direction. What we're going to do, I'm going to place my hand up here. And now from the sides, I'm going to merely try to get the fluid <coughs> to come out of here. We're kind of squeegeeing it out. And uh, it looks like we've done a pretty good job over there. I'll have to look at it closer. And now we'll reverse said procedure. The microfiber cloth is very slippery, by the way. So I'm going to go over here, put my hand down here. And we're going to once again slide to get the excess fluid to come out of this the best we can. And we're not going to press too hard and do any damage to this. Now we're going to pick this puppy up and just have a look at it. And, uh, ooh, see I moved it. I did. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. So we're going to move it back where it goes. And we got enough fluid on there, it's still movable. All right, now we're, now we're centered up a little better. Now, we're going to let that sit for a while. And then I'll come back and Basically, that's it. And now you're going to just set it off to the side and let it sit overnight. Right now, let's see what we see for bubbles in it. Uh, can you say none? Zero, folks. Not a single bubble. None. Not a micro bubble. Nothing. 
and it's in a good position. It's even on both sides. It's covering the basically the flat section of the screen. So I'm not even going to have to do anything else to this. I'm going to let it dry. We're done, folks. That didn't take long at all, did it? It sounds complicated. Make sure you watch their videos on how to do it. And you'll end up with a nice, gorgeous matte screen protector on your Axon M or whatever phone you like uh, with a Skinomi matte skin. And you'll like it. And uh, now I just have to find a place to put this phone where I won't touch it or move it or do anything stupid with it for roughly hours and hours. After about 15 minutes, I'll go around the edges here and with my palm, I'll press down, make sure all the edges have sealed properly. Uh, and, and that will be it. That's it, folks. A fairly easy install, a lot shorter than I thought this would be, but you know, this time I know what I'm doing and I didn't have to line up camera holes or anything, just a square protector on the back. Uh, this is a great product. Uh, of course, in the morning I'll take a look at it and uh, I'll report back in the description if suddenly bubbles appeared. But right now I got nothing. I got perfection. So I'm going to leave it there and just say if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful to you at all, uh, if you bought an Axon M, I want to go with a good screen protector that is not nearly as complicated as you think. Get the Skinomi. Just do it. Trust me. Excellent product. And like I said, if you like this, thumbs up. Make sure to read the description below for the links to Skinomi Skins, the uh, Amazon link, and a link to the previous video on this. And I'll, in the corners, there'll be a couple of cards that pop up uh, of recent videos I've done, uh, probably on the Axon M. And that's all I have at this time. Far quicker than I expected. Thanks for watching.